Hey guys, it's me, Zombly, and I'm in DCS A10C Warthog. And uh, DCS basically stands for Digital Combat Simulator. It's uh, free on Steam. It's called DCS World, I guess would be the full title of it. And uh, it comes with the SU-25T Frogfoot and the TF-51D. Um, however, the A10C and all of these kind of along the uh, left side here are... Uh, paid modules, I guess. You, you have to pay to, to own them. They are a little expensive, but uh, they put a lot of detail into them. And uh, I don't know. I've uh, I've been messing around with this quite a bit now, and uh, I finally kind of learned how to fly the plane somewhat efficiently. And, uh, I mean, somewhat, you know, that's, <laughs> that's leaving a lot to be desired. Um, at any rate, it comes with a thing here called Create Fast Mission, and unfortunately there is no dynamic campaign, but there is a logbook, and as you can see, this is my current pilot, Jack Slushy Callahan. I've earned one air medal so far. I'm with the uh, 357 FS Dragons, which fly the A-10. Um, anyways, this takes place in a theater near, uh, I think, Georgia, which is, I'm talking like the one that's in, in Europe, not the state Georgia for my other, um, I guess, American not geographically inclined people like myself, um, because when we hear Georgia, we think of the state. At least I do. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't speak for everybody. That usually ends up bad. Um, at any rate, I figured what I would do is make kind of like this series, sort of like my LCPDFR single player uh, videos, whereas I just come in here and I'm going to just kind of do an episode every now and again on no particular schedule whatsoever, and uh, just kind of fly around and have fun with the uh, the fast mission thing, which just gives me one random mission to fly. It logs it in my logbook, and once this pilot dies, we'll just make a new one and kind of try to continue on the series as best we can. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar with the A-10C Warthog, it's actually known as the Thunderbolt 2, I believe. Uh, Warthog is just kind of like its nickname, and it is a uh, ground attack fighter. It's uh, it's very advanced in that regard. It's really good at attacking ground targets. However, it is not an air-to-air -air fighter. It, I mean, it's possible, but uh, it's not good at what it does. And uh, sadly, I recorded two episodes of this before this, but I had to completely trash them just because I kept messing up my audio levels, and then uh, I had a little problem... Uh, editing one, and it, I ended up deleting footage that I thought I had saved and needed, and so uh, that completely scrapped the second one. So hopefully, uh, based on those first two attempts there, I've got my audio levels checked out so far. Um, I don't know, but let's go ahead and just jump in while we can. All right, let's see here. So we'll go ahead and leave it at 10.30 a.m. We'll go to advanced mode here. Uh, we'll start up here. I am going to fly on easy because I'm a weenie. Um, I'm also going to do clear weather because fall, I keep getting uh, precipitation. Anytime I hit random, I always get precipitation, and it's really annoying. So for this one, I want clear. <laughs> I'm also not going to fly night missions, not yet, just because I'm not very good at them. Um, I've got attack planes set to minimum on blue side just because the last time I got this... And I tried to get some information from the Joint Tactical Air Controller, or the JTAC. You know, he was trying to lead me into targets, but there were, like, three other squadrons of A-10s operating in the area, and they shot up everything before I could even get to it. So, um, I'm going to leave that at minimum, and that should give me only a few, potentially, including myself. Um, helicopters should be random, random, random everything, and we'll go ahead and generate this and see what we get. All right. This shows us our allies, our enemies here. We've got insurgents, yada, yada, yada. This shows us the weapons we're going here. Uh, close air support will always be our task, as long as I fly a ground attack airplane. That's just what we do. So we're going to provide support to friendly forces in contact with the enemy. And we will have a JTAC uh, under the call sign of Whiplash. Uh, we need to inflict maximum damage on the enemy forces. Uh, this shows us our threats. Eight SU-27s. That means we're not getting off the, the ground today. Um, yeah, that, that pretty well assures that we're not getting off the ground. That, I almost want to hit regenerate, but whatever. Alright, it would appear that we're in-game now. And it looks like that is a bunch of 
something. Ooh, settle down, joystick. Settle down. Okay, looks like those are something out there. I'm going to assume they're uh, F-16s, because that's usually the only fighters I ever see supporting us. We've got two AH-64Ds. I think those are Apache attack helicopters here. So, uh, I think my sound levels are still a wee bit low. You have my apologies, but it's better than they were in the last couple of attempts I made at this. So anyway, let's go ahead and try to get this thing started up. Again, I'm not going to be the best at this. You have my sincerest apologies. I do what I can do. Alright, that's fine. That was the oxygen mask warning. That's going to be the generator on that. That's fine. We want that. These are all good sounds that we want so far. We also want to turn on our radio to transmit, receive, main both. We should start hearing people blithering away, especially because we're going to have combat, active combat going on right up that way. So, uh, yeah, there they go. Just a lot of clicking at this point. You have my apologies. He's going. Alright, now that we have all that going, let's go ahead and start the APU, which is the auxiliary power unit, which provides power to the aircraft while we wait for the systems to engage so we're not just uselessly drawing from our battery. I'm going to go ahead and close the canopy, because that APU is kind of loud, but not in this instance, because I forgot to work with my sound levels some more. So again, my apologies, I'm terrible at this Let's Play thing, but I think everybody knew that that subscribed to my channel, so, you know. Alright, so it appears as though the APU just kicked on, gave us some more power to get our systems going. So we'll go ahead and engage the bit test, which is going to make the plane squawk and beep and boop. So, you know, ignore that. Those are all normal beeps and boops right now. It's when we're flying that we hear them that we want to be concerned. Okay. So while we wait for that, I'm going to go ahead and set these signal lights to bright. I'll figure it out eventually. There we go. Alright, so now I have lights flipping and flashing and making me an easy ground target for these enemy planes that are up in the air right now. Pull up. Pull up. Oh. Oh, that's an enemy Sam out there. I think that just launched. That's not good. All right, so our test is complete. It didn't find any failures, which is what we want. I'm going to go to display modes while I'm thinking about it and turn on my radar altimeter tape. And we'll go ahead and exit. And that completes that test. We're good there, so let's go ahead and load our combat information. This will get our map going. Oof. Processor took a hit there, sorry. Um, so this will get our map data and our weapons data going. Um, go ahead and get these ready to activate. That's going to start squawking. Oh man, there's a lot of fighting going on. Alright, well... While we wait, let's go ahead and get our engine started up. So that should start the left one there. Should start flipping and flapping here soon. There it goes. Yup. That is a running engine, everybody. Okay, our DSMS. Looks good. That's our radar warning receiver. It's finally active. Yes, those are going to holler at me. I know. Master Caution is coming on because it's showing me that uh, my APU generator is still active, which is fine because I haven't started the right engine yet. So, that is hollering because there's missiles and fighting going on. Um, while I'm here on the... this shows all our weapons. This is our weapon control interface. I'm going to turn on the EO power. That's for the Maverick air-to-air -air missile, which basically it's got a little gyro in there, like a... Uh, kind of like a GPS that needs three whole minutes to warm up. So there is that to think about. And now that we're good and running there, I'm going to go ahead and start the right engine as well. Man, there's a lot of fighting going on. There we go. All right. 
right, other engine should be close to warm up now as soon as that light goes off I can go ahead and disengage the APU and we'll be running on the aircraft's own generators at that point that should settle down any second start cycle completed there it goes it's off which means we can go ahead and kill the APU and now we need to wait for our ground, or well not so much the ground navigation, but we just need to wait for navigation in general to be ready. It takes a total of four minutes. I've had it running here for a little bit. See, we're at 3.5. So here in a, another minute or so, uh, this will start flashing and then we'll have our navigation systems aligned. So we should be all set at that point. I'm going to go ahead and start the radar altimeter. It's hidden underneath my throttle, so I have to kind of engage the throttles, which is fine. It's kind of like a run-up, but I have to do it a second time as well. Um, and there's a, there's a key binding that can uh, switch me over to this console, so I can actually see those switches that are hidden underneath the throttle, but uh, I, I don't have it set up yet, and I keep forgetting to do so. So anyway, now that INS Nav Ready is flashing, we can switch to that, and we should be golden after I engage the EAC one more time, we'll do in like another run-up. Oh, right. Switch nav to Eggy. There we go. Now EAC is armed. We are golden. Let's ask for a taxi to the runway. We might actually make it to the air long enough to maybe do some damage based on what JTAC gives us. Taxi lights are set. Should be good to go. Set that to waypoint and the first steer point. Alright, we're cleared to runway 4, which uh, let's not forget to engage nose wheel steering. That's kind of important when you're on the ground, otherwise you can't steer the aircraft, and uh, that's a disaster, eh? <laughs> Alright, let's get going on the taxiway. Runway 4 is actually this direction. We're facing the wrong way from it, so we're basically going to flip a U-turn once we complete our taxi. And uh, again, if this is too long or boring, um, I can try to cut it out and do just like a runway start or something where I don't actually have to start the systems on the plane. Um, I just thought it would be kind of interesting because it is in-depth, and I, I like that sort of thing, but I'm also very strange. So if you guys don't like it, have no hesitations to leave a comment and let me know, uh, because from then on out, depending on what the vote gets, we can just jump straight into the action if we need to. Ooh, I'm taxiing a little quick. Hang on. Hang on, everybody. Zombies in charge. We automatically know that's a failure. Alright, so let's go ahead and set flaps 10 degrees to prepare for the takeoff. And we're also going to turn our landing light on instead of our taxi light. And we will get on the runway and hopefully get in the air and start providing some ground support or some air support for our ground troops hopefully maybe depending all right oh but of course you are thank you ATC you're just gonna let me sit here okay three zero decimal one six cleared for takeoff here we go Gonna throttle up with the brake on, get the engines going, and then boom, here we go. And then hopefully we'll get in contact with the JTAC as soon as I get us in the air and somewhat towards the combat area. We shall see if I can even make it that far. It looks like there's an enemy SAM out and about. Disengaging nose wheel steering because we're above 50 knots. We're at 130 knots now, so I believe I can go ahead and start the, uh, the rotate maybe there we go we made it now we're gonna hear a lot of beeping and booping as I hit that uh, gear lever there and that's just letting me know that the gear is in transit it is warning me of that and now that we're in the air we're gonna go ahead and turn on the pito heater not pito as in pito bear but pito <laughs> which take that as you will that may be better or worse I don't know so flaps up and we have positive rate I like to talk to myself through my procedures, I guess. This is probably why I shouldn't be a real pilot. Uh, assuming I actually had the stomach for it, um, I think it would get annoying really fast. 
We'd be like, we get it, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Captain, you left the intercom on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, so now we're just going to go ahead and continue our climb out while at the same time heading over towards what looks to be our ground forces and a couple of enemies at the time. I need to turn on my radar jammer as well. That might help me when it comes to uh, the SAMs, the enemy SAMs in the area, the surface-to-air missiles. I'm using emergency trim because I don't have trim set up on my uh, controller. So, there you go. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a hold of that uh, JTAC now, shall we? It's grayed out, which I don't think that's a good sign. So, we'll check in with 45 minutes. And now that we're in the air, hit master arm on the weapon switch, laser. Okay. He'll probably have us attack those SAM sites. Set autopilot there. I am ready for your nine line. Ready to copy. So he's going to give us the basic information now, which should appear on our map. Oh, goodness. Okay, so he wants us to attack a column of tanks, but he wants us to, after we make the attack on the tanks, he wants us to uh, egress east, which means he wants us to uh, basically leave the combat area in uh, an easterly direction. And ready to copy remarks, he should tell me the weapons he wants me to use. Oh no, I've got a missile launch. Shit, got a missile launch. And he wants me to use Maverick air-to-ground missiles. There was a missile launch. I don't know if that was friendly or not. I didn't see it. I'm not dead, so it was probably friendly. Okay, so I heard Maverick missiles. And there's another missile launch. Oof, I don't know if that's headed towards me or not. Cleared to engage, engage. alright, well that's great. Thank you for clearing me for the engagement. I think I'm currently being engaged right now as it would stand. I may not be, but anywho, this message that popped up that says new tasking, we're going to go ahead and try to acknowledge this real quick. Um, sorry, I'm not too good at being shot up under pressure here. So... Now we need to slew and look for the target point. And there's our target down there, that little flashy triangle thing. So we'll set that up. We'll set a waypoint on that. And as soon as I can, we will Wilco, which means we're going to go ahead and attack it. We're going to see our message one more time, which will show us more data. And we're going to acknowledge. Now. It's just a matter of trying to fly over there at the moment without being shot to shit. <laughs> but it should be a column of tanks with a AGM-65Ds or, or something like that. I, I don't remember the exact phrasing there. Ah, God damn it, another missile launch. Please don't be at me. Oh, actually, we got a SAM down there. They're probably all friendly. But we've also got helicopters attacking, so I'm not sure. Those MI-8s are enemy helicopters. But it looks like we're coming up on our attack zone, so I'm going to go ahead and throttle down quite a bit. There it is. So let's go ahead and switch over to our... Ah, shit. Targeting pod. There we go. We'll make that the sensor of interest. We'll spam that in. We'll go ahead and set those. Go here. Do the AGM-65s. 
and it looks like there's a couple of tanks for us right there. So these are the tanks that Whiplash wanted us to kill. So let's go ahead and ask him if that's true. Alright, that's our target. So we got another missile launch. I hope that's not at me. I really sincerely do. Alright. What are you having trouble with? Give me the tanks, quickly. Alright, rifle one. I'm losing my... There we go. Rifle two. And... I don't know where that third guy is. There he is. I think... Up a little bit. Last one, alright. There go three Mavericks. I'm gonna go ahead and egress east now, like he asked me to. And looks like we've got hits. That would be the Sam, so this is why he wanted me to egress east. But he's actually gonna fly me right over a Sam, so he can go screw himself. I'm gonna come back out kinda more to the west here, and back towards the friendlies. Is that a Sam? Okay, no launch yet. I don't know how many flares and chaff I've got left. I got it set to auto dispense. So I'm getting a little oversaturated here with stuff going on. Alright. Nobody's launched just yet, so now that we're sorta of back under somewhat of a control, we'll switch back to our targeting pod, tell it standby. We'll get back in contact with uh, Whiplash and ask him what's going on after our attack was complete. He might reassign us. And we have one Maverick missile left. One, one, two units destroyed. Re is authorized. Oh, negative. Negative, negative. We didn't get that last dude like I thought we did, so I'm going to go ahead and slew my targeting computer back around. And we will try one more attack. This time back over the SAMs. Flying over some sort of city right here. That's kind of neat looking, isn't it? All right. See if we can get back in the game here. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Uzi one is RTB at eight go stand by air to ground. Thank you, the soy. Gimbal limits, that's irritating. Okay, I'm just basically at this point I'm I'm messing up severely and it's going to get me killed very fast. Is what it boils down to. Ah shit. Okay, we're going to have to bail back out again. Sorry, I got to make another pass. I had thought I had slaved my computer to that particular waypoint with the uh my targeting camera anyway. but it appears that it didn't want to cooperate with me. So we're just going to keep flying out a little bit here. Try to get some speed. I'm just, uh, those SAMs scare me. If they launch, I'm, I'm pretty well doomed. I'm not the best at avoiding ground targets as such. Go stand by on that. Air to ground mode. Make sure that's still selected. Still authorized for a re-attack. Hopefully I don't have to tell him I've got contact again. I, I doubt it. I'm s certain that tank's still alive. I don't know how I missed him. I thought I had gotten all three. Unless there really were four tanks. At which point I don't know how I missed the fourth one. Um, I only launched the three AGMs, but uh, I only saw three tanks. So It could just be me, new pilot, being oversaturated with, like, SAM warnings. Pulling a lot of Gs here. I'll go ahead and kill the throttle as well. That hollering and beeping and booping is not a missile lock or warning or anything like that. Um, that particular one was telling me that I'm flying the airplane like a maniac. Um, I'm pulling a lot of like angle attack maneuvers and stuff that are just mean. Okay, so there we go. Let's switch.
sweep back over to here. And we're going to have trouble yet again. There's that last tank. So let's do that then. And let's get a Maverick launched on that guy. Just because we don't like him. There we go. Alright. Maverick out. And let's go ahead and egress east yet again. Computer's telling me no Mavericks. So we'll go ahead and switch back over to the targeting computer just to make sure we actually got this guy. I really need to turn hard. Come on, Maverick. Do your job. Not the Maverick from Top Gun, but the Michelin one. Man, shot that one from a long way away. Nice. And we saw the hit on TV. Whoa, I've got some AAA. Or a, or a plane. I'm not sure which. Um, I can't... I'm not ready for nine lines. Sorry. Let's go ahead and turn this off. Who's trying to kill me at this particular moment? I don't think anybody. I think I just got shot at from the air a little bit there. So we'll go ahead and climb a little bit and get set up with JTAC again because he's got another target for me. So let's let's copy this time.